loves and welcome back to my channel. So for today we're going to be talking about my favorite under $5 makeup products. I have so many you guys and I'm really shook that I haven't filmed one of these videos yet. Sitting here social distancing and in the casa has me thinking of so many videos that I want to film for you guys and this is definitely one of them. Um, I have such amazing products that I want to talk about so let's just jump right in shall we? So you guys know I'm definitely a sucker for prestige makeup, for high-end makeup, but I'm more gravitated towards drugstore. If I can find that good of a product for less than half the price, then I'm all for it. You know, let's all save some coins. So I love, 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 love drugstore. I feel like drugstore doesn't get as much hype as it deserves here in the YouTube community. I achieved this entire look today with nothing but drugstore makeup. So. Let's start off with beauty sponges. I used to be addicted to the actual beauty blender sponge um, until I got introduced to just way, in my opinion, better and more affordable sponges. My drugstore beauty sponges do an incredible job at blending my makeup that I would never go out and purchase the beauty blender sponge or like those high-end beauty sponges. I just don't need to because my drugstore sponges are that incredible. And the two I want to talk to you guys about today is one, my Sonia Kashuk. This beauty sponge right here is what I use to apply my face today. It works so good. My foundation and concealer doesn't soak into the sponge therefore when you're pushing it into your skin a little bit goes a long way of course i love it because it's black white marble and gorgeous but um it also expands to be a lot bigger than what it originally comes as i'm such a sucker for beauty sponges that are very very squishy <laughs> flexible and um really does like pounds into your skin that's what i'm a sucker for for the beauty sponge um, i don't just use sponges for liquid i also use my beauty sponges for powder i feel like i get the most full coverage face when i apply my powder with the beauty sponge and it's so crazy because about a year and a half ago i would never use powder with my beauty sponge but as of now i use my beauty sponge for my liquids and for my loose setting powder because it just makes my face so full coverage um so yeah this is my sonia kashuk and this bad boy right here is five dollars at target the second beauty sponge i want to mention is my elf beauty sponge this baby right here is my ride or die beauty sponge i've been using this on a daily basis every single time i apply my makeup i'm using this elf beauty sponge i only got introduced to the Sonia Kashuk maybe about mm, I want to say maybe a month or two ago and I've been using it ever since but I go in between these two out of the two I would highly recommend my elf a lot more because I feel like this expands so big and it's even more flexible than my Sonia Kashuk they both work amazing I only have one beauty sponge from Sonia Kashuk and I have about three from elf but these two you guys amazing all right, the next product I want to talk to you guys about is a translucent setting powder. I remember when it first came out, mental note, like, oh my gosh, I have to try that because I'm in love with the foundation. So I just assumed that the powder was going to be just as amazing, um, and it is. I just completely forgot to go out and purchase it. And about two or three months ago, I went to Target and purchased a bunch of new drugstore products. And this was one of them. I tried it out, and I have not been using any other loose setting powder since then and it's only five dollars at target it's insane so that is my wet n wild photo focus loose setting powder this is so full coverage a little bit goes a long way with 0.70 ounces worth of product in here i'm a full coverage girl you guys know this i love me a full coverage beat i don't want like my natural skin to peep through whatsoever i have redness on my skin i also have acne scarring and i just want to make sure i hide all my imperfections with my makeup so this wet n wild five dollar translucent setting powder this product blew me away it works so good you guys love it what else do i want to cover okay so much in front of me as you guys know, Wet n Wild has such incredible products for an amazing price, and um, I'm a sucker for the brand. I'm not even going to lie. 
huge sucker for a ton of their products. Another one of their products is the Wet n Wild Bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. Ooh. That is all I used on my face for today. I didn't use any contour shade. I feel like it's a lot more buttery than I thought it was going to be for the price you pay for this. The price I hadn't tried this sooner. I picked this up about a month ago or so and I've just been in love with this bronzer ever since. It works so good and it blends beautifully. Really good bronzer. And can you guys believe that this is $3.99? Oh my gosh. Wet n Wild highlighters are like a staple in the makeup community. We all know that. The best blush slash highlighter duo situation and all drugstore. I'm wearing both of these right now. I like to mix the two together and highlight my body, but I only use the gold highlighter for my face. You guys, $3.99. You need this in your makeup collection. You guys know I'm a sucker for drugstore lippies. I love a good drugstore lipstick, liquid lipstick, lip liner. But this formula specifically blows my mind because it is $4.99 and the formula and pigmentation of this liquid lipstick is so freaking good. And that is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit lipstick. I actually have like a swatch slash review video from way back when when they first came out with this formula, probably like two and a half years ago, but I will definitely put a card here on the screen. It's super old, but at least you guys can see the pigmentation and how bomb their entire collection is. Everybody loves a good hot red. I'm a ride or die for this shade and it's in the shade Missy and Fierce. It's like that candy apple red that everybody wants. All of their shades are so beautiful. I personally love Nudie Batuti, which I don't have on me right now. I also have this orange one right here, and it's in the shade Flame of the Game. Love, love, love this shade. And then the Vampy shade that I love is in Video Vixen. $4.99. So crazy. Ooh, let's talk about my favorite eyeliner. <laughs> okay, I feel like this eyeliner does not get the hype that it deserves. I love this eyeliner. I just tried it out, I don't know, maybe like five, six months ago. It's the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof and Waterproof Eyeliner. It's such a buttery formula. I love this eyeliner. One little swipe up and look at that. I actually used it today and um, it doesn't leak down too much either, which is why I love it. It's my favorite eyeliner. Definitely must have in your collection. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. These are my favorite. I have about four or five different shades. So when I saw e.l.f. come out with theirs, I was like, stop. I have to give these babies a try. And I picked up one to start off with just because I was a little sketch. I didn't know if it was going to be a little bit similar to the Stila ones. They're definitely like half the size of Stila, but they are beautiful. This one I picked up first. It's in the shade Copper Pop. And once I fell in love with it, then I went out and I picked up three other shades. I haven't actually tried any of these three quite yet. I'm so excited to try the black and blue. I definitely want to do like a drugstore makeup tutorial or drugstore get ready with me um, using either the blue or the black so I can try it out. Let me show you in a swatch what Copper Pop looks like. It's what I have on my lids right now and it's just such a beautiful glitter eyeshadow for less than five dollars. It blows my mind. That's one swatch right there. All right now I'm going to go ahead and add a second one. You can build these glittery eyeshadows without it getting crumbly and crusty and nasty on your eye, but oh my gosh, the glitter is beautiful. And I appreciate most importantly that the glitter doesn't fall down from your eyelids down to your under eye um, and create like a disaster for your makeup as you're wearing it throughout the day. But oh, it's gorgeous, right? But you know what? Let's swatch them, why not? Let's show you what these colors look like. This one right here is in the shade Flirty Birdie. Okay. Definitely a lot more silver glitter specks. I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on top. Whoa. Mm, gorgeous. Love the silver in that. Okay, next shade we're going to go ahead and swatch. I'm dying to swatch this blue. <laughs> All right, this is in the shade Ocean Eyes. That's what one swatch looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and put another layer so I can see exactly how pigmented this color can get. I think you have to like 
wait for this to completely dry before you go in with another layer because I feel like as I'm layering the swatches, it's just smearing the pigmentation off. But yeah, that's Ocean Eyes beautiful. The last shade I want to go in with is this black. This is in the shade Dark Magic. Woo! That's one swatch. Oh my gosh! Okay, Dark Magic is definitely my favorite. Can you guys believe that's one swatch? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to layer that up one more time. Holy, it's beautiful. Can you guys believe that this is under $5? <laughs> It puts me in such a good mood when I can find a good come up that's so affordable. I am in love. All right, next product. We're almost to the end. The next one I want to talk about is my Revlon Eyelash Curler. I am a sucker for eyelash curlers. Um, I have very long and thick eyelashes, but they are straight. It drives me nuts. I have to curl my eyelashes just without any mascara, and then I have to apply mascara and then they go back to being straight, so then I have to curl them again, and then they're curled, and then I apply my falsies, and then after putting mascara with my falsies, I have to then curl my eyelashes again for them all to stick together. Okay. So, And I find that the Revlon is my favorite. And this is, I think, like four, three or four dollars. I used to be obsessed with the e.l.f. eyelash curler, but the Revlon does a better job. Highly recommend, if you need a good eyelash curler, Revlon for the win. Another incredible under $5 product that I want to share with you guys is from e.l.f. and it's their blush in the shade Blushing. It's so beautiful. I used it today. I use this a lot when I want to put blush on but I don't want it to be overpowering. You can build this blush to be pigmented or just like a subtle blush. That's why I like this. And I love the formula of this. It's so buttery. There's a tiny little bit of shimmer in this blush, which is why I think I love it so much. It's not extreme where you feel like it's your highlighter and blush in one, but it's just enough to give you a really beautiful glow. Definitely recommend this product. Next product I want to talk about is from Essence. I love as I mentioned in my empties video, I'm obsessed with the Essence mascaras. They have such good mascaras there. But my all-time favorite one is the Essence Volume Mascara. Under $5, works so good, lasts me for months. I am obsessed with how volumized it makes my lashes. Here's what the spoolie looks like. I'm just going to kind of volumize these lower lashes on my right eye. So you guys can see like my left eye compared to my right what a difference it makes. This is before and after. <laughs> I love this mascara, you guys. Definitely had to give my Essence mascara a shout out. Even though these last two products are like $5.99, I have to mention it to you guys because they're amazing and they're my go-to favorite drugstore products. Um, one is my Morphe Dip Brow. This right here is $5.99, but it is just as good as the ABH Dip Brow. I have it in the shade Java. It works so good on my eyebrows, you guys. The formula is so creamy. The pigmentation is there. It's currently my favorite favorite brow product. I had to mention this to you guys. Even though it's like six dollars, totally worth it. I highly recommend this brow product. I use it every single day. The next one is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. You can prep, set, and refresh your makeup with this product. This is my second one. I am up obsessed with this setting spray and it smells so good. It also comes with 1.52 ounces which is a lot of product. I don't know why but I'm a stickler for like a good spritz. You know what I mean? If you have a makeup setting spray that like spits out at you, that leaves big old drops on your face and you have to like blend it out with your beauty sponge, oh, that drives me nuts. But when it sprays out evenly on your face and it just like, oh, like a breath of fresh air for your skin, that I love. And that's exactly what this does. So let me show you. You see how powerful that is? Mm. And it smells just like roses. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. You guys, $5.99. Are you out of your mind? You have to get it. It's so bomb. All right, my loves, that about wraps up all of my under $5 products. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys know that I only rave about products that I'm absolutely in love with. So every single product I mentioned today, I would love for you guys to go out and try and leave a comment down below if you already have them, are in love with them, 
or are gonna go out and get them. <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, leave a comment down below if you have an under $5 product that I didn't mention in this video so I can go out and give it a try. This is my first time ever filming a under $5 drugstore makeup video like this, so leave a comment down below if you wanna see more. I'm always out in the prowl to look for a good come up drugstore product. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button on your way out if you are not already a part of the amazing family we have here on my channel. And I will catch you babes on my next one. Mwah! Love you so much.